All right. Without further ado, as Mike mentioned, our theme this year for the fair is Fair Time Fiesta, Best Four Days of Summer. And the contestants have been preparing this presentation with that theme in mind. Okay. The judge in five areas. The first is academic record, that counts for 5% of their score. Community service and fair experience, that counts for 25%. And then personal interview and knowledge of the fair industry, that equals 15%. Then communication skills, 25%. And then on stage presentation, is 30%. And that's where we come up with the 100%. Please welcome contestant number one, Maura Jorgensen. Gratitude, meaning the readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. I am grateful for the mentors in my life. Growing up in Amador County, I have been blessed to have been surrounded by people who brought out the best in me. All of these people represented on the board have helped shape me into who I am today. And for that, I am grateful. Now, I'm about to pursue my goal of becoming a teacher. I know there will be challenges ahead, but growing up here in Amador County has prepared me to face those obstacles. There is a poster in the staff room of Sutter Creek Primary School that says, engineers build bridges, artists make paintings, scientists build rockets, but a teacher makes them all. I want to be that teacher. Maybe I will inspire the next engineer, artist, or scientist. However, I know there are students coming to school every single day who are frightened, hungry, even neglected, and don't have the kind of support that I was so fortunate to have. These are the kids who need a caring adult. They deserve someone who will listen to them, support them, and show them how they can reach their full potential. I want every student I come across to feel valued. I want them to know that school is a safe place and there will always be a teacher there to treat them with kindness. I can be that teacher. When I enter the teaching profession, if I only make the difference in the life of one child, my career will be very rewarding. However, I hope to positively impact the lives of hundreds of children. I am very excited to embark on this next chapter of my life. I have a dance that I'm about to perform that has the lyrics, if you want to live your life, live it all the way, don't waste it. These lyrics are perfect for those who are striving to achieve their dreams. Thank you again to this community and to everyone who has inspired me to achieve my own goals. I hope you enjoyed this tap number.
bring back contestant number two. That is Gracie Goldsmith Ding. Seventeen years ago, I started my love affair with the Amateur County Fair. I was just nine months old when I made my debut in the horse show. Perched atop Buddy the horse, I laughed all the way through the class and then chewed on my big green participation ribbon as I walked out the gate. Little did I know that this would be the start of an annual July tradition that is literally the best four days of summer. During the first four years, I was only old enough to make the annual two or three laps around the arena, usually on the back of a horse that was old enough to vote. Lead liners always have the steadiest steeds, and not even the zipper at the carnival can make them bold. By the time I turned five, I was a pro at the horse show stuff. And I even ventured into the ten and under showmanship classes. It was also at this fair that I learned the trials and tribulations of showing chickens. Good thing we always have a patient judge who can double as a stray chicken wrangler even when they fly up into the rafters. Thank you, Jim Saley. By the time I turned nine, I was ready to show my first heifer, steer, lamb, and a hog. Man, was I ambitious. Scooby, the big Hereford steer, was a sweetheart of a guy who would let me sit on him like a horse. I was sad when I had to sell him, but I was already preparing for the next few years ahead with my breeding animals that I had at home. With each year brought new challenges of what I could make, grow, or raise to show in the fair. From garden vegetables to photography, sewing projects to table settings, I entered it all in the junior building. Miss Marsha, the building supervisor, would always congratulate me on my exhibits and especially loved my blackberry pies. Two of my favorite memories from the fair are the year that I accidentally tripped over the microphone wires while delivering lamb kebabs to the auctioneers. That shut down the auction for a good 10 minutes while they sorted out the wires. But also the year that I won best to show with my photograph of the flower beds in front of the old western town. Little did anyone know that I snapped that picture the day before it was due and had to race to Walmart to get it developed in time for the fair. While other kids are hanging out or going on vacation, I've spent my summers getting ready for the fair. As I've gotten older, I've come to realize that the memories and friendships that I make during this fair are the ones that are gonna last me a lifetime. Just like when I was nine, I'm showing my heifer, steer, lamb, and a hog. I know it's gonna be a busy, busy weekend, but I'm ready for the fair time fiesta that truly is the best four days of summer. Thank you. Contestant number two, Gracie Goldsmith Ding. Thank you. And let's welcome on stage contestant number three, Madison Machetto. I believe in the future of agriculture with a faith born not of words but of deeds. The first line of the FFA Creed reflects the idea that in the agriculture industry, our actions truly do speak louder than words. However, my time in this blue corduroy jacket has shown me that the lessons embedded within the creed can be applied to every aspect of my life, whether it's in school, working with my animals, or in my relationships with my friends and family. It is often misconceived that the words we speak define who we are, but they don't. Every action we make shapes the kind of person that we are right now. Now, yes, we start by speaking out about our goals, but those words mean nothing without the actions that follow. Every time we create an idea of something that we want to do, we create two options for ourselves. We can either sit back and hope that one day our goals will just be handed to us, or we can step up and take control of our own lives and put in every effort to achieve our dreams because a dream is just a dream until we make it a reality. The question is, 
How do we want others to perceive us? As individuals, do we want to be known as someone who works hard for everything that they do, or someone who sits back, expecting everything in life to be handed to them without ever lifting a finger? Personally, I want to be known as someone who works hard for everything that I do, whose deeds are driven by my beliefs and my goals. In the past four years alone, this jacket has provided me tremendous opportunities because of the words I was encouraged to put into action. For example, back in February, I told my FFA advisor that I wanted to run for the state equine proficiency. Despite some challenges, the application was complete and submitted. Come April, I found myself standing center stage at the Anaheim Convention Center in front of 7,000 other FFA members being awarded as a state winner. Now, now, in two weeks, I will find out if this jacket will take me to Indianapolis in October as a national finalist. But the one thing that my goals have and hard work have always provided me is the opportunity to come right back here to the best four days of summer for over the past 15 years. As we all go home tonight, or to our travel trailers, think of something that you've been meaning to do, but just haven't. Maybe it's calling that friend that you haven't talked to in years. Or maybe it's going for that dream career that you've always wanted since you were a little kid. No matter what it is, start doing it, because I believe that our futures are shaped not from words, but of deeds. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number three, Madison Shetter. Let's bring out contestant number four, Charity Goldsmith Ding. Music has always been a very important part of our fair. With every few steps down the midway, offering a different genre of music, it's not hard to see why these are the best four days of summer. My sponsor, Dick Cooper, was a pioneer in bringing music to our fair in his years of managing the fair. It's kind of hard to imagine our fair without music. This fair is bound to be a real fiesta, with mariachis and maracas around every corner. After helping set up sound equipment for Mr. Cooper's band, I was inspired to learn to play guitar. Tonight I will be performing for you a traditional Spanish guitar piece titled Romanza. I hope this love song evokes in you the same feelings that I have for our fair. From the overwhelming love for the family I've become a part of, to the gratitude to the sponsors who make these days happen, and all the music that comes with it. Thank you.
30 Goldsmith Day. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Amador of 2018, Vanessa Christoffers. Growing up in Amador County, I was given so many opportunities, it's genuinely difficult to try and name them all. When I was growing up, there were so many things I wanted to accomplish before I graduated high school. And this place allowed me to do it all. I was involved in student government, and band, and athletics, and theater, and academics. And there's no other place where I would have been able to do all of this. This county gave me opportunity after opportunity, and I knew that there was one thing that could give a little bit back of everything that it had given me, and that was Miss Amador. Earning the title and position of Miss Amador was something that I had always dreamed of doing, but this want to give back made it so much better. It allowed me to go to school and explain to everyone who was curious about the sash that hung on my wall just how amazing my hometown was. It allowed me to go to every parade and bring out a smile and a wave from everyone who was watching. It allowed me to make a little girl's day simply by saying hello and that I loved their outfit. It allowed me to continue to be a positive representation of our county. And it allowed me to be a role model for the younger girls in our community. It also gave me a scholarship that did more for me than I thought possible. This scholarship made my first year at UC Davis fully paid for. It allowed me to take two labs a quarter and not be worried about having to go to work and falling behind. It took a huge stress off of me, and it's a huge reason why I'm still able to be a pre-medical student today. So with that, I owe a huge thank you to every single donor and to the fair for continuing to have this scholarship competition because it truly makes a difference in every single contestant's life and it continues to exemplify the generosity of our county. Miss Amador gave me a year of new experiences, new laughs, new knowledge, and new people. It gave me a year I will never forget. I'm so excited to be able to give this honor to someone else, but I am so blessed to have had this honor myself. I know that every single one of the contestants out here tonight will be the best Miss Amador that they can be and is deserving of this position, this scholarship, and this opportunity. So with that, I would like to thank all of you for letting me be your Miss Amador. But most importantly, to this county, for giving me an amazing place to grow up that shaped me into who I am today. Thank you. Maura Jorgensen. If someone you met had never been to Amador County, where would you take them and why? First, I would start off in Shenandoah Valley and show them the vineyards and what we have to what we have to offer here agriculturally. Then I would bring them down to Jackson to see the Kennedy Mine and show them the historical background of what our county has to offer. And finally, make a pit stop at Munnerlands Ice Cream Ray where you can get some delicious ice cream.
think high school sports are an important part of school and why? I believe high school sports are an important part of the school because being a four sport athlete and the Argonaut High School Athlete of the Year, I have learned so much responsibility, teamwork, camaraderie, but also I've made some amazing friends and it's been a way for me, for me to have an outlet. Thank you. difference in your life? There's too many examples in my lifetime with my own friends that have made a difference in my own life, but in general, always knowing that my friends will be there for me no matter what, will drop everything they're doing to come help me and support me in everything that I do is something that will change my life forever because it pushes me to be a better person and in turn I hope that I can push them to be a better person also. Thank you. memory you have of your childhood? Well, I'd have to say all of my most vivid memories of childhood took place here at the Amador County Fairgrounds. I've been coming here since I was literally a baby, so my favorite memory would be one time they put a saddle on a cow and put me in the saddle on the cow. <laughs> that would be my most vivid and favorite memory. Thank you. Number three, Madison Machetto. Third runner up. And the winner of a $1,000 scholarship is contestant number three, Madison Machetto. Second runner up and the winner of a $1,500 scholarship. 
goes to contestant number two, Gracie Goldsmith Day. Drum rolls music here because you know where this is going to go after this one. First runner up. And the winner of a $2,500 scholarship goes to contestant number four, Charity Goldsmith Day. Contestant number 